that they asked for it here in order to take as much points as they can to bring that lead even stronger. I mean, that's not even the hard part of the map. All right, so it looks like US takes their fourth point, taking it 4-1 over Australia. So far, everyone is holding combo right here, and I believe a miss from Japan can actually make a difference. It's point scoring, it's a little bit in favor for Japan. They have around 2,000, 200,000 points of difference in their favor, but not, it's not looking that they have a really strong chance if they miss because Chile is catching up really good. They have really strong combos overall. Alright, so it looks like uh, Japan have actually managed to come back and take a pretty convincing point here, which they really needed. And it looks like Korea might have won 4 1. Yes, indeed, they take it 4 1 over Brazil. Alright, Japan with this one, putting them. 2-3 to three against Chile, and we might very well see a tiebreaker for this match. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Of course, we would love to, to see every match end in double, da in double dash, in, uh, in tiebreaker. However, it would ruin our uh, organization, so uh, better not, but some of them can. Alright, so it's going for... There we go, connect. This one, they picked Hadro. Wow. That catch me off guard so Wow. Perfect Gaze's dream, that was, was that Chili Effect One. Yeah. Did Chili Effect Gaze's dream? Yes, they did. Yeah. Oh dear, I put that down to Japan. Oops. <laughs> Japan going for Connect, something a little bit weird, going for the Hard Rock pick. Although we have played two Hard Rock so far, I believe. And two of them, one for Japan and one for Chile. And the two were pretty close to each other, so 
little bit of the risky side, but if you don't risk, you don't win. And this is the last pick of the match. Japan needs to win this one in order to do, get at least into the tiebreaker. Well, we will see what happens. So probably one of the harder picks in the horror pool and once again everyone is with a hidden but Nico is the only one which is not using that mod so Well Ruri couldn't missing that. about yeah. a 125 combo That is from Ruri who is definitely going to be something to watch out until the end because this is a short map and we are already almost halfway in and every single player from Chile is still on the combo is around 100,000 here. Yes, and with a third of the map remaining, if we don't see a miss from Chile, a hard miss, not an accuracy miss, a hard miss from Chile, but here he oh, comes, Nacho. Nacho missing. Now, Japan has the high chance to come back here. They don't really have too much time, so they have to keep that up. But to the end, they have the hidden advantage. That might be more than enough to get the lead back, but it's not looking like that they will. This is really, really close. They are trying to climb back, but they are not being able to. At the end, with too few nodes remaining, they'll be able to knock him wow. down into a 3-3 and tiebreaker. The... It's looking like it's going to happen. The comeback is real. Tiebreaker hype. Tiebreaker hype. Japan not giving up just yet, they were one foot out already and they barely made it to the tiebreaker here with a miss from Nacho, SM, Ruru and Vox doing fantastic all the combo until the end, Green Riku also recovering until the end was so much, so important and right now we will have a tiebreaker between these two strong teams this is probably the match that will reflect the seed of these two teams because it's top seed and ninth seed. So they both have a pretty high chance to qualify. Apparently, you're not the only happy one that tiebreaker is happening. Morpheus goes like, "Yay, awesome!" It just is not that while we wait, next up we will be having Malaysia versus Argentina and Peru versus China. Yeah, kind of. I just forgot who the fourth team was. I had to go check. I think Ken is happy. I am. <laughs> oh, what a cute little emoji. Is Ken like is always Ken, happy with Ken, his uh, Ken the tiebreaker. Yeah. Glorious 2v2. Well, Ken, I think if you recount, you'd see it as a 2v3.
So, who do we think is going to take the tiebreaker? Japan or Chile? Well, from their overall, you know, overall performances, uh, I think that Chile might have uh, an advantage. I will say this. It really depends on Lina's performance, in my opinion. That is the player that we have to keep watching from Chile. He is the one that has more tournament experience here for all these players. Nico well does have a lot, but Lina is the one that shows when the team really needs him. A tiebreaker is that moment when you really need your top player to be on. Also, with use of the trump card by Chile is going to play for this tiebreaker. Japan with Noraka and then Eno as well are probably the two ones to watch out. And Locus going as well. I think I was expecting Miro from having Miro HD here, but it seems like it's not going to be the case. All right, let us begin. The last map of this match, the winner takes, well, I wouldn't say all, but he takes at least that match. He'll take the point, which is what counts. Yeah, it looks like uh, it's pretty even at the moment, but the first miss is gonna go to Wood User, which is gonna give Japan a bit of an early Ooh. lead here, and one they'll really appreciate. Yes, it is. That being said, I think we should also quickly mention uh, Eno with the hidden. I, I think we should probably mention that, because this is gonna be fun to watch. I mean, you know, Quit User missing at that point, it's like the least. Where we didn't expect a miss to come from. <laughs> you know, Japan are going really strong here. They do not want to give up any chance of losing this. And, you know, with a hit, and it's also. But it's also a little bit risky. Yeah, as soon as the difficulty progresses, he might have a little bit of issues trying to hold the combo. I mean, even with the uh, early miss from Quitty, it's still looking pretty close. I mean, one miss could probably sway this back in favor of Chili's favor. Apparently, a lot of people are wanting Japan to break. Oh, come on, guys. D don't I mean, root for the team to break, root for a team to win. They will probably not do that until the hard part, though. This is the build up section, and this is the point that, like, Japan should not miss. We will have to wait and find out, but they're looking pretty good, though, so. You might very well be right there. Oh, that miss from like, Nico! Yeah, Ooh. another miss from the chilly side. That is An not Eno. good. Ah, yes, Eno does have a bit of a break, so that will kind of even it out a little bit, but... Once again, Lina is the only one. Eno and Nico are somehow having issues here. They're both dropping. Yeah, and Eno as well is having a little bit of issues here. The difference is not too big though, but Nonarchat and Mokos are just going beast with a double full combo here for Japan. Quit User is doing his best, holding a really strong 1000 combo. A break from Japan here can make a huge difference but despite Nico the 200,000. as well. Oh, it breaks again. And again. Yeah, yes, Nico's not performing too well on this section. But it's not up to him right now, it's up to Norakad and Moltus to be able to cap that up and keep the combos. 
keep the full combos until the end. But Molko's finding a miss over there. This will give a huge advantage to Chile now. But Quid but User, quid user finding the oh, miss gosh. just in the time where they are about to come back. And now it's looking that there's no more chances in their favor. Eno finding some misses over there, but it's not going to be that big of a deal. Nora Cat and Line are still doing his best in order to keep the hopes on their own team. Oh, yes. Nora but actually not holding it. Nothing will happen. Oh, but Lina now dropping the combo, and that will no, seal the deal for Chile. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, this I is it. That's With the it. From Lina, that's looking to be a win for Japan, yeah. yeah. I don't think they can come back from this anymore. They don't have more chance. The only thing that I can see happening is a fail, and that's not yeah, looking that's like not it. Happening. And at the end, Norner Cat will be a strong and impressive double S, at least until this point, will lead Japan into the victory to take this so... four point. And Nico actually failing the map at the end, trying to recover his HP a little bit, being able to recover. And Chile yeah. will be losing this match 4-3. Yep. Congratulations, Japan. That was some match, really. Breaking and breaking and breaking point after breaking point. Wow, that's something. This match was so amazing. One of our other commentators just popped up to say what just happened. <laughs> he is from a country far away from France. He plays hidden, so you can't see him. It is... Zaxina! Whoa, we <laughs> will have Zach, but I'm yeah, not sure. Yeah. There we go, there hey he is. Hello. I, was say, I don't think he's Zach, I think he's just yeah. muted. That was a great match. <laughs> that was amazing. I only kind congratulations of. Congratulations on your win, I by only the way. Sold a tiebreaker. Yeah, congrats on the win, by the way. Thank you. I imagine you're pretty happy about that one? Yeah. yeah. It didn't start I mean, off on the right foot, but we, uh... Yeah, I was surprised that, uh... Held it together. Managed, I was surprised that, um... Australia managed to get the first point there. That was a bit of an eye-opener. Yeah. yeah, uh, neither of us were expecting it. <laughs> I actually have to be honest, I actually misread the entire thing. I was like, alright, you just got the first point, sweet. And then went back to him, like... That's not US. <laughs> yeah, that happened. I will say that you had probably a harder time than what you expected, in my opinion, in this group stage. Like, the tiebreaker against Mexico, losing that random point against Australia. It was definitely hard that I was expecting for you. Yeah. You had a, a pretty hard group, I will say. Uh, the Mexico match was particularly rough. I just did really terrible during that. Alright, well, with that handover made, uh, we'll be heading off, sleeping a bit, for to be right full of energy and whim at 9am. Uh, Alright then, bro, thank you, and we will see you later. Yep, see ya. And for the next match, I'm not sure if someone already told you, but you're probably already seeing this on the stream, we will have Malaysia against Argentina. So, future Miku95, Muru Tag Tag, and Kagari facing Forrest, Belperg, and Koliron. And seems like the first warm up is Penkri Hati, rain difficulty. This is a really weird sounding Miku song. Yeah. I mean, I mean, some of the question if it was actually a Miku song, or some just put a Miku picture in the background.
anyway, Zach, you're the, uh, you are the odd case dude here, and we've finally got you on the panel. What do you think about these, uh, two matches coming up? Uh, what's the other match coming up? Rue China. Rue China? I yep, think everybody can tell how that's gonna go. Yeah, it's already gonna be Rue. Rue have got this, guys. Yeah. We're gonna win. Hey, what do you think about this one, though? This one's probably a bit closer. Um... Well, I'm hoping it will be. Because Velpra K and Forest are really strong. Oh, is it Velpra K? Well, that's... Oh. I, I don't know, that's how I say it. <laughs> I've just been saying Velpra this whole time. Yeah, Velpra is alright. And he just gave up. Yeah, yep. Like, I would just press the dash button in the rhythm of the music and not catch hey, the it again. <laughs> and they still won. <laughs> oh yep. boy. 999 combo for 4s. I'm kind of expecting uh, like Hard Rock and Double Time coming from Argentina and maybe some Hard Rock from Malaysia or Hidden. Yeah, hard I rock can might see actually double be a bad idea for Malaysia. Yeah, I was I was about to say that as well. I mean, double they, have, time... they have people who can play it, but yeah. Yeah, you're, you're facing Burberg and Bo um, Force in yeah. the Hard Rock bracket. It's a little bit risky. But I see Argentina picking Nomad here instead of Hard Rock or Double Time, honestly. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it's not that they are the. It's, it's not that they should go for Nomad. They will just go for it because they are like that. They, they, they did that before as well. Oh, this song is making me sleepy. Surprisingly, I'm not sleepy despite being up since about 8 a.m. Well, maybe because of the hype of you being playing. Well, I do feel a little bit more awake than I was before the match. You're like a vampire. Only sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Only sometimes. In my case, it's more like a bear. I'm always tired. <laughs> Especially in winter. Nice mod combination. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, that's gonna go fantastic. This is a serious match, guys. I should actually find out what AR that is. Hold on. Or what AR? Wait, what, what AR is that map originally? Seven point five. I don't really know, but Colin is holding the full combo so far. I must know.
was fuck. Like Corridon did full combo, but she missed the first note. Like the only note that she missed was the first note. With easy hidden flashlight. Nice. Belper with a double S, same for future Miku with hidden hard rock. And that was like a really relaxing warm-up, I'll say. Isn't it time for the rolls now? Yeah, it's looking like it's time for the rolls. And actually, they are playing the Gaucho God from Argentina, and I really like it. <laughs> praying for a 95 on the roll. And if that happens, I will start praying for the Gaucho God. Oh my god, 99 for future. Yeah, have fun with that. <laughs> Good luck trying to beat that. Go for the 100, go for the 100, do it! And then I got He's 11. He's preparing himself. Oh, okay, he got not, destroyed. <laughs> not quite. It's kind of funny because our first two rolls were actually good, and then against Australia, I rolled 11. I gotta get back into those low rolls. I did not expect Malaysia to ban Hidden. Also, it looks like our China match is win by default. That is really unfortunate for Peru. Yeah, in the first day, it's now completely out of the tournament because they lost two matches already. They won one against Sweden, though. I 
So, just double check on the Epiphany, Yurokubi, Piano, and Stanko. No hidden love. Yeah, okay, so those are the four bands, okay. Well, so far it seems like Corridor is the first one to find a miss here. So Argentina definitely not starting with the right foot here. Advantage to Malaysia score-wise. Ooh, and Kagari missed that just long jump. Yeah, that's probably the harder jump of the map. I wouldn't say it's the hardest jump, but if you forget about it, it can be rough. Oh, Corridor! She got into the wrong direction trying to catch those foods. Yeah, honestly, this isn't really a very difficult pick, but it's just, for some reason, a lot of players have trouble comboing, despite that it's rather easy. Yeah, I think it is because of the spacing between the nose, so you cannot really follow the nose while just holding the button. You just have to move, stop, move, stop, and Belperk actually Belper went amazing. Missed. That is definitely unexpected. This is actually Malaysia's favor right now. And in a really huge way, actually. And I don't know if I'm gonna expect future Mika to, to miss because he's a really consistent player. Not looking good for Argentina here. Yeah, it's really not looking good. I will say that they are already out for this point. Mm, not for sure. It's likely though. They're going to be 400k down, so it's pretty good chance. Every single player of Malaysia has to miss right now in order to give Argentina a chance, and call it on with a mess is not going to help at all. Yeah. I mean, Force is assessing, but that's not enough. Well, yeah, he's assessing, but Future Miku and Muru Tatak as well with a hidden. Yeah, I'd say this is over. <laughs> Unless something crazy like a fail happens, it's not really <laughs> it can that. happen, but it's not looking high at all. Good job, Malaysia. Two SS's. Impressive. Definitely a good stuff from Malaysia here as well. Yeah. Although, honestly, even if Velper K SS as well, I don't think that would have made a difference because of Coliron's misses. That's how score v2 works. You win as a team and you lose as a team. Yep. So, Argentina up for picking now, what do you think they'll go for? Um, maybe they'll fight back with some double time. Ah, uh, it's gonna look what I can do. And it looks like I'm right. <laughs> We're gonna have Ilala. 
you want. Actually, as far as I remember, not a lot of players like this particular double time thing. Yeah, I think it is like a non-stop. You don't really have too much of a break. It's just difficult overall in every single yeah. point. It never gets harder or, or easier. It's just constant difficulty. My team definitely doesn't like it. <laughs> So let's see now with Ailala. Yeah, we're having all the same players and the same people using hidden as well. She has huge eyes. They always have huge eyes. Like, if you compare it, they have bigger eyes than ears, and that is probably not correct. That's terrifying. Alright, so, so far, advantage is of course for Malaysia because everyone is holding full combo and they have two hiddens in their favor. So far, first accuracy drops goes for the Malaysian side and Muru Tak Tak finding the first miss of the series here of the double time pick. Right now, advantage is in favor of Argentina because of triple full combo against two for Malaysia. But a miss from Calderon. Oh, <laughs> but Kagari as well, finding a yeah. miss over there. So that'll even out that. And there we go with the chorus section. We're about to start with the second chorus. Yeah, it's not too late for someone to miss. Definitely not. Entering to the stream section a little bit. Like, it's not heavy stream, it's just like triplets and five notes stream. But still, something that you can easily get confused if you're probably with, like, with hidden. Oh, but Connor, I'm finding another miss over there. I don't think that will be enough. Most likely because of Mortal Tactic miss. And Kagari as well. Future Miku is the only one holding strong here for Malaysia. And Belperk and Force are just. Destroying the map at the moment. This is looking like Argentina will take the first point in this series. Yeah, good job there. Yet they did really well over there. Force and Belperk do nice doing SS fantastic. From Future Miku though. Yeah, Future Miku is probably going to be the MVP here. At least that's looking like it's going to be that. He's just performing. Amazingly well in these well, two as maps. I said, he's a very consistent player. Definitely, he I don't is. Think people understand just how consistent he is. He's always setting hidden hard rock and hidden scores on like everything. Well, that may be something to watch out for Argentina. So going for Nomos might be a good option to try and counter future Smiku's given. Possibly. Now, second pick for Malaysia is going to be Patapon Theme. Probably the easier hard rock, in my opinion. So Patapon theme, hard difficulty, it's a map that's not really too much of a difference in comparison to the other hard rock picks. It's mostly about memorizing a little bit the map and figure out when the hard jumps are. And despite that, it's just normal as a normal beat map. You just have to watch out of the approach rate 10 or 9.8, I think it is in this particular map.
actually not that sure. But anyways, we will have the third match, second selection for Malaysia. It's going to be Padapon theme and Argentina with Hidden for Belperk and Hidden for Muru Tagatag and Future Miku in the Malaysian side. Also, far the advantage is, of course, to Malaysia because of mod advantage, as we saw previously in the mod selections. Every single player here is holding the 100%. And this is a map that doesn't really have too much combo, so a break probably will seal the deal pretty early. Halfway into the map, still 6. 100% so far, every single player is holding at their best, and the difference is around 10,000 points, but Kagari is going to be the first one dropping here for Malaysia, and Muru Taktak just after that will fall as well, leaving only future Miku with the possibility for the Karma, Kagari finding another miss, but Koliron, Belper, and Force still holding the 100%, not giving a single point away, and now the lead is about 400,000. Looking really good for Argentina at this point. Seems like they will take the second point and first break of the series. But double break here for Berpik and Colliron. Thankfully for them, Force was not missing on that. Although there's almost no time to catch up here. And it will be a victory for Argentina anyways. Almost and hit the 3 million mark. And Kikari missing right at the end. Yeah, that was an unfortunate miss at the end, but Future Miku once again with a double S hidden hard rock. Like a boss. A little, like a boss indeed, doing amazing. As always, Future Miku really consistently getting good scores. Sadly, Muru Tak Tak and Kagari finding some misses previously, making a difference here. Belberg and Colleron did hold really strong until the end, finding a miss in the last long jump. But still not enough to take down Argentina over there. 2 1 in their favor with break point in their favor as well. Force with 100%. And now it's time for them to pick something. And then I guess Nomad is looking like the best chance for them. Oh, you know, they could just roll for the lulls. I'd still like to see my, uh, my lovely double time map get picked. Yeah, the whole time makes sense. I would like to see uh, Sexy Love here. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we were close, but wrong map. We're going for Sweet Magic. Okay, another double time then. Probably the harder one of the pool. Yeah, I'll be back in a bit. I'm still just trying to catch up. I'm no so behind. So now 2-1 in favor of Argentina. It's looking really good for them because this is their own pick. Sweet Magic is going to be. And we are ready to start with a fourth selection. Second from Argentina. At this moment, if Argentina takes this match, they will qualify as number one play, a number one place of Group G, which means that they will be facing either Mexico, Netherlands, or Australia from Group B. Kagarpe with a really hard tank in the intro of the song, holding a 90% accuracy. Still holding the combo though. Oh, but a miss over there from Corinor and Kagari, both missing at the same spot. Accuracy wise, the advantage is in favor of Argentina, and that's the reason because they are actually on the lead. 
A Pledeem or attack that had a really early break as well, but it's not going to be that big of a difference. Force and Belperk doing really good jobs here with a double S still. Kagari and Collier are once again missing in the exact same spot. But it seems like Malaysia is actually taking the lead now with two almost full combos and I'm not really sure why they're on the lead but a miss from Kagari is going to give me no chance to try and guess how because Argentina is back on the lead once again with around 9,000 points of difference in their favor. Force and Belper both dropping the double S already but Future Miku still going on the run for the money. Another miss from Collier and it's not helping Argentina. She's consistently dropping in every single map. And Kagari, if he's able to keep up this performance a little bit, they should be able to take the lead back in their hands. Another miss from Collier is helping that a little bit. And yes, Malaysia is taking back the lead once again. Which future Miku is still holding the 100%. Belbrook now missing for Argentina and that is a huge break in favor of Malaysia, that's probably going to seal the deal. Muru Takta holding really strong as well, being the reason because Malaysia is now super far away in terms of points. And we're about to end with a map and with another break point, countering the break from Argentina, now Malaysia winning the pick in Sweet Magic. Okay, up to date. Fun fact. Golden Sky and Sedan and both have 10 picks. They're the most picked maps at the moment. Even That's better cool. than that though, even better than that, second or oh, third equal is uh, Piano uh, Concerto and Sexy Love. <laughs> Alright, seems like it's the first time that we saw Future Miku not holding the double S at the end with the trouble it missed at the nearly last couple of nodes. It's hard to tell if it dropped because no one got the double S there. <laughs> Dead Devil. Really? Okay. Yeah, they're going for Hard Rock all the time, so. It's fine to go for Dirt Devil. Dirt Devil hype. I just would have thought they'd go for a connect first, because Dirt Devil's been, you know, actively avoided. I think we second saw Yurokobi. It is the second most banned map, uh, 11 banned so far. Yurokobi, though, 16. No one wants to play your Kirby. Except for one thing. I can agree with that. Let's see which team we should decide to pick your Kirby. We didn't want to pick your Kirby either. Ah, <laughs> uh, it was Norway. Norway were the uh, brave souls to pick your Kirby. What's funny though is Dirt Devil's the only hard rock pick I like. I wonder if this could go to a tiebreaker if this keeps up. Do you think the uh, do you think the chances there for the tiebreaker? Wow, well, the definitely chances. It really depends on this map, though. If Malaysia is able to take this one, I don't think we will see a tiebreaker, honestly. This is the mode where dreams are crushed. I think you think. If we want the tiebreaker Argentina has to win this one, I would have thought Malaysia would win this and Argentina would win the epic. I will say that Argentina has better chance to win the tiebreaker, but I will say that Malaysia has more better chance to actually avoid the tiebreaker at the end. Whoa, a miss from future Miku, that is something new. 
Like, Argentina really needs to win this one. Because they are not picking well. So they need to win their other team's picks. They are not picking correctly, and they will probably won't do that either in the next one. Right now, the difference is around 8,000 in favor of Malaysia, but it, sh it should probably get closer as time goes on, with Belprec and Forrest holding a full common, Calderon holding a better combo than Fury Miku, and Miss from Muru Tag Tag over there will definitely give the lead to Argentina instantly. Well, Argentina's got it back. Yeah, they definitely had it back. I, it's not a big difference, though. It's 14,000, so there's still something can happen, because Force did miss. Yep, there it is. Go back to Malaysia. Both Cardinal and Forrest missing at the same spot. Now Belbrook is the only one remaining, but Kagari finding a miss over there, and that might give the chance to Argentina. The lead is not really big. So they might be able to keep that up and hold the lead until the next seconds. As you can see, the scores are getting closer and closer. And at the end, Argentina will take it with around 30 combo remaining. If they keep up this until the end, they will take the point. And at the end, Belperk putting the carry t-shirt and bringing Argentina up into 3-2, breaking the point of Malaysia once again. In a really difficult scenario, I will say. Like, it was looking better for the team and at the end the miss from force giving a little bit of pressure into Belbrook's shoulders not a single problem for him in order to keep the combo out until the end yeah with and everybody missing that really hurt them yeah definitely the miss from future Miko though was something really important for the Malaysian side in the in the bad way of course he was holding consistently every single time with a full combo and finding a miss now, and now they are back in the backside, like 3-2 down. It's not the point that you want to miss. Well, now with the ball back in Argentina's court, we're going to have to see what they pick. If they pick correctly, it'll be all over. Epiphany is actually a good pick, so that is good for Argentina. I, I won't say that is the best one, but I it's a good I thought it was pick. banned. Epiphany? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. banned. Well, now I know why it was a, a good pick. Yeah, <laughs> it's not good to pick the banned maps, Juan. <laughs> yeah, it would have been a good pick, but uh, someone interfered. Malaysia with a pretty good band there, then. Yep. Anatonia is looking like a good pick. And they will go for that one, I believe. So this is last chance for Malaysia to try and get into the tiebreaker scenario. Right now with the Nova, it's looking like Argentina has a little bit of a banish. I will say Future Miku without the hidden is a little bit weaker, but that doesn't mean that they don't have any single chance at all. I will say that's completely the opposite. They do have a good chance. But Future Miku with the miss in the previous map causing uh, Malaysia to lose. I mean, it was not only Future Miku's miss, it was every single player dropping, but it was the first time that he actually did break and now transitioning into a no mode, which is probably the play feed that he's not that comfortable. It is a smart pick for Argentina. Let's see if this can pay off. I 
we're going to see another tiebreaker between a top C team. So far, every single player is holding the SS here. The force is the first one breaking it. That will give a slight lead in favor of Malaysia over there. And if this keeps up until the end, it will be decided by the spinner. Gary dropping a bit of accuracy right now is looking like Melisha still has a bit of a lead, but it's not too big. No, I mean, this match has been pretty close. I mean, a lot of the other maps in this match have been overall really close in general. This is yeah. a pretty good matchup. Since I missed all the earlier matches, have we actually seen one decided by a spinner? I'm uh -huh. not sure. I think we didn't, and this might be the first time. I don't remember if this one has a spinner, but Future Miku! Future oh, wow. Miku! For exactly. every single player, it had to be Future Miku at the end, and that was still the deal for Argentina. Future Miku being the reason here because we will not see a tiebreaker of, or a spinner deciding factor at the end. Oh Ouch. my god. That definitely hurts a lot. That has gotta hurt. Oh man, that was a big shame for Malaysia. They were doing fantastic and suddenly they just they just couldn't keep it. They just literally threw the match. It happens. Yeah, it happens, but damn, that was really close. Although they still have two matches remaining, so they have a really good chance to qualify if they do well on the next ones. Alright, well, our next match of well, said matches is coming up really soon. We will be having Australia vs Mexico, Singapore vs Japan, and Malaysia vs Canada. So, yeah, those should be some pretty good matches as well, I think. What do you guys think? Well, we have interesting matches, of course we do. Malaysia against Canada is probably going to be the most close one, in my opinion. Although, Australia-Mexico is a really intense and interesting one, because whoever wins that one will be having more chances to qualify. If Mexico beats Australia, that means that Mexico and the US will qualify in Group B. But if Australia takes the point, it will be decided between Australia and Netherlands at the end. And whoever t takes this ma that match will be the one deciding who gets the second place. It might happen that we see a triple tie for the second place in Group B if Australia wins against Mexico and Netherlands wins against Australia. For Singapore and Japan, and Japan being in a really good shape, just beating Chile by tiebreaker, beating the top seed team, now facing the low seed one, which is Singapore, is definitely not an easy match at all. So overall, we have a really good amount of cool matches here for the next and last block until we have a little bit of a break. Yeah, I think this is the last match before the break, isn't it? Yeah, so this is the last two matches, and then we're gonna have a nice, well, not a huge break, but it's one I'm not gonna miss. We're gonna have a decent break. I think it's another five hour break afterwards, so that's not too bad.
Yeah, so it looks like we're gonna be having Singapore vs Japan next up on the stream, so that should hopefully be a pretty good match. But yeah, well, we've got a bit of waiting time for the next match. Uh, one, Zach, what do you think about these matches? Like, who do you think is going to win going into these ones? Well, I'm going to have to... For Australia versus Mexico, I'm going to have to give it to Mexico. I'm not at all surprised. I, I think Mexico's got the upper hand <laughs> yeah. there. I'm, to be honest, though, it would be really funny if they get a tiebreaker too, because that'll mean Mexico brought every team to a tiebreaker. <laughs> the tiebreaker Damn. team. And if they lose it, that'll mean they brought every team to a tiebreaker and lost. Hey, they won oh, against Netherlands. No, yeah, they did too, four, three, yep. For Singapore versus Japan, I'm gonna have to give that to Japan, especially after beating Chile. Yeah, that was very impressive. And Malaysia versus Canada, I... I can't say for sure. I will say Mexico winning against Australia. I'm going to call a really weird thing, and probably you guys do not agree with me, but I will call Singapore beating Japan. Even That's after cool. beating Chile, I will say that Singapore has a big chance to beat Japan, mostly because of the double time ability. And I will say Malaysia will take down Canada here as well, just by sawing what they do, what they did against Argentina. I definitely see those being a strong team, even stronger than a normal low seeded team. And despite I didn't see Canada that much, I will say that Malaysia has a pretty big chance to beat every single team in the tournament. If they perform as well as they did previously, of course. MP link is updated if you guys want to get those fresh MP links.
Right, I'm still not sure about which match will we end up streaming. We're waiting for a little bit of confirmation, but it will definitely be one of Singapore against Japan or Malaysia against Canada. It's definitely one of those. So far, it seems like Singapore and Japan already have a warm up selected, and it's going to be uh, stage one from Geki Okapumpu Maru. And I think it is a pretty short map. Yeah, it is 34 seconds. Any minute now. What do you call a boomerang that does not come back? Well, that probably is a gun. A stick. Or stick, yeah. So it looks like we're good all the players here, so hopefully we should be starting on time, which is amazing. Always good to start on time. Which match, though? We weren't Singapore told. Japan. Singapore Japan. Okay. Alright, so we will have... Singapore against Japan, then that's a streaming match. What in the world is this? Um, stage 30, one. 34 seconds, stage one. I guess next we'll have stage two. <laughs> oh, so hard if that is actually what we'll see as a super warm up. I don't know who picked this, but whoever else has a warm up prepared, you know, make it happen. Alright, and here we go with our first warm-up. That is an amazing background. That's awesome. The little guy looks so angry, though. <laughs> 
Nora, I cannot find her? It's not looking like it. Ah, oh, there we go. Bit of a delay. I'm just hearing the hit sounds now, it's pretty funny. I'm pretty sure we've been playing at different times, oh dear. Yeah, they definitely are. That's always fun. Alright, well I think that works good anyway. That was actually pretty short. <laughs> yeah, it's all you was 30, 34 seconds. Yeah. And Nora, Nora, Nora catches double as the file. A million points, exactly. Nice. Looks like all the other three matches are. Uh... Well, oh, we oh, have a, a symmetry as the second warm up here. And crystals over memories. those. That brings yeah. back memories, but from where? Oswald Cup Finals. Ah, right, okay. And I cannot watch it because of it. Yay! So good luck commenting it. <laughs> what? I cannot commentate it because I cannot watch it. Some there's some kind of bug with the tournament client that it cannot uh, like the song does not get downloaded. Nice. Dude, this is crippled overdose, so it's obviously a CTP. Huh? I'm just thinking, cause I'm wondering if this is actually the same map set from the Oscar Cup. I'm pretty sure it's the same set. Must have been a multi mode sit down, Nico. It is. It only has one CTV dip. It makes me think it's unranked, but I'm pretty sure it's not. It's ranked. It must have been must be pretty old then. Last year. Hey. Anyway, hopefully we should be starting this very shortly. It looks like uh, Australia and Mexico have actually finished their first ones as well. And uh, so kind of Malaysia. Ah, uh, Sky Star, right.
Good job, Rulu. I don't think Japan cares. <laughs> Is that Kevin Codrock? Yeah. Frozen? That is. Arr! Well, that's something. That is indeed something. Also, they see the CSW map Has anyone else picked a warm up from it? <laughs> yeah, a lot of people. <laughs> well, but most of them oh, were not on a stream. Oh, yeah. We had uh, three CSW warm up picks at the same time. Two of which were the same. Nice. And those three were not streaming, I think. <laughs> No, the rule of stream at the same time. The coincidence is keep piling up. It's called fate. I mean, even what the hell, how the Japan they should do it pretty well. I mean, the Etiquette is doing pretty well, actually. I mean, he dropped his combo boost, so. I don't know why I can put units with that. Yeah, this is a uh yeah, at least a remap, alright. Nothing but brutal hyper jumps. Oh, it looks like it's Malaysia and Canada, but I still warm up, so... Oh! Their warm up pick was O Canada. Oh, Canada. To which, one of the Canadian players got no score. It was a dodge the beat encounter. Dodge the beat? What? Dodge the beat. If you get zero points, it's because you dodge. Oh, right, sorry, I thought you took something in chat. I was like, what? What's going on? This looks like now we're going to go into the banning while we're all first for this match and then go into the banning. Um, another quick look and see if uh, Malaysia Canada started as well, because I imagine they would have by now.
Yeah, okay, so this is the Panda, Epiphany, Yurt Kirby, Kino Concerto, and Sedango, okay. Alright, so hopefully we'll do rolling here soon. Alright, well let's say both teams have rolled. Well the four locks have got to them. 32 vs 20, that's not exactly high. Yeah, definitely not a great roll, but if you win, you can beat the other. Okay, so it looks like they're gonna start by standing up, good, Dilma and Sweet Magic. Alright, there we go, I'm back. Woo! Also, can you come with us for like, I think it's some stuff up there. Alright. So, do we have the bands already here? I I really heard some of them, I'm not sure if that was all. Okay, so uh, Japan band that did give them a sweet major. Malaysia band, Gao, Epiphany Piano, Concerto, Eurokobi, and anything else. Sedanko. Right, so that was an opening pick. Singapore should go for a double time, I think. No, 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 we still need Singapore to pick uh, their bands. Atlanta, it's going to be there. Yep, I was right with a double time. Well, I'm not sure what happened, but it seems like they are already picking, so something did happen. Yeah, yeah, they just banned out Osaka and uh, they were Osaka and Triple Map, so that would be. Yeah, to hear the maps, Eurokobi, and... Synchronicity, and Winter Camping on Osaka. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, we're ready to Ailala, which is probably one of the trickier ones when it comes to double time. As Zach mentioned it previously, this is not a map that most people likes to play, so... Having a strong team when it comes to double time like Singapore is a good thing to try and help beat Japan in this kind of maps. Even though they are not the most comfortable to pick on. So we're ready to start with the first match of Singapore versus Japan and we will have Ino, Giru HD and Ririkun. Yeah, I'm not sure if uh, Double Time was the best pick against Japan. Well, 
I believe Singapore is strong when it comes to double time. Yeah, but sure everybody with is. everybody on Japan right now is also skilled with double time. I don't know where is Axel though. I'm not sure if he changes his name or something because he's I mean, probably they're, the main. They're confident enough time. to all go with hidden. I don't remember Axel being much of a double time player, honestly, so. I know he plays hidden and some hard rock? Not a whole lot, though. Oh, that miss from Eddie Cat XD is going to hurt a lot. That is the first break of the match so far. And Japan is holding really strong here with a triple full combo. Taking up the advantage around 100,000 away at least. It keeps growing. I believe in Japan. Yeah, and uh, in a really smooth way, it seems like Japan will be taking this point with a triple full combo. The only miss so far in the whole match is from Etikat, but a miss from Ino now, I don't think it will matter too much because they don't really have too much time to recover here. But really well played by Japan. Another miss from Etikat at the end. We'll definitely end up sealing the deal with a 300,000, 350,000 points here of difference in favor of Japan. Seems like in Malaysia against Canada, they are playing currently a Geisha's Dream. And I think they just finished that one. So we gotta check the end link to see yep, what the results were. Canada took the first point. Alrighty, Hard Rock, that is impressive. And over on Australia, Mexico, Australia hit the first point. Australia? Wow. Interestingly enough, that is the same map they got a point off against US. Wow. Australia of all times getting the first point so far in the tournament. By the way, uh, he and Erica wanted to personally challenge Giro on that and lost a little bit. <laughs> By about 800 points, I believe. So now Sedangara will be the second pick here by Japan. And once again we will see the clown. And so far we saw the clown in not really happy moments for the team that is picking it. So we might see the same thing here. Press 1 to pay respects. Oh, so it looks like uh, Malaysia versus Canada is going to be playing some I La La and Australia and Mexico is going to be playing a bit of a uh, pedophon thing. I wonder what we're waiting for here. Oh, okay, this is needed. Wait a minute. Uh. 
I guess they switched the wrong person in. Why be the case? Yeah. At least they're trying to get, um, Stella? Okay, so yeah, it looks like uh, Excel is ready and in the game, so hopefully Sedango should be commencing very shortly. Over in Australia, this makes it look like the very start of Pedophon theme, and hopefully it's Major Canada, they've started I La La. Okay, you just said it, la la, so that's good. Okay, and it looks like Mexico take the first point, take it until one. struggling a bit with accuracy in the beginning. Yeah, those sliders are a little bit cool. We've actually seen this one quite a lot now. It's almost becoming like a go-to pick, really. Currently, most picked at 11 picks now, breaking away from Golden Sky. Well, I wouldn't say this is the hardest uh, hit pick. It is certainly the hardest to get good accuracy on it. Yeah, because of all those, all those sliders and also the AR 8.7. I'm just looking at this and hidden, just not so much this map, but hidden itself has been a lot of attention. It has the most picks and the most bands. <laughs> Figure that. <laughs> also, there is a clown curse over there because every time a team goes for the clown, they just end up losing the point. Giru HD being the first one missing in the match here. Yeah, I can actually agree with the person who picks the band girl loses because when we picked it, we lost, and when Australia picked it, we won. Yeah, it's the clone curse. Kiri should be struggling quite a bit actually at this point. It's actually surprising to see him struggle. Yeah, I think I was expecting this someone to struggle a little bit. Maybe it was Eno, but the Gear HD. Yeah, he's wasn't kind of a that. he's kind of a double time specialist, but he's also really good at hidden. He usually doesn't play without hidden, actually. Like if they pick uh no mod, I'm expecting him to switch out. This Eng Eric over there, but the lead is around two hundred thousand points and they don't really have that much combo disadvantage at this point. Still with a third map remaining, it could go anywhere, but the Japanese team will definitely need a little bit of time to catch up. Like, Japan definitely has the chance here to come back, but the question is if they have enough time or not. Because combo-wise, they have a little bit of advantage. But Herald over there missing, and that's a huge drop, actually. 
There's not much time left, but Eno breaking that jump just before the, the chorus section. And he and Eric as well dropping a huge amount of notes over there. But only one full combo against one right now. I don't think Japan will be able to come back at this point despite Nora Cat's double S. They're cutting up the leaves a little bit, but Whoa. excellent Nora Cat. Oh my god, no full combos remaining now. Ginovich did the only combo remaining here, and it's looking like they won't be enough at all. Great move by Singapore here. That tunnel yeah. break. Oh yeah, they're closing up, but I don't think it will be enough. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be quite enough. Like, oh, and the miss from Nora Cat. Yeah, that miss from Nora Cat at the end was probably the last chance for Japan getting lost. I don't think it would have yeah. uh, changed it. It was it's close though. Not. Yeah, 100,000. It was definitely crows. Really well played here by Axel and Norakat, both holding until the 755 combo, missing in the exact same place. And they're going straight away into Golden Sky right now. Singapore once again away with a double time. I still think double time's a bad idea. I don't think so. I think with Axel it actually makes sense, but maybe I'm just too wrong. No, I think they're gonna switch Axel back out probably. Oh, I see. Oh boy, that's a candidate now. 3 0 oh, oh. What about Mexico and Australia? Oh, uh, I think that's... Okay, so when do the campaign just finish? So it's 2-1 two... Two, to Mexico. Okay. Alright, cool. So it looks like everything's going pretty well so far. We got a 1 all, a 2 1, and a 3 0. Oh. Now it looks like Mexico Australia might be actually playing the Geisha's Dream next. Um, which I believe is a mix of perfect. Yep, yeah, it looks like a mix of Yeah, Mexico likes to pick hard rock. I've noticed. Which is fun because Australia actually banned out two hard rocks, so it doesn't really good to play on them. They banned out two mix and two people. Well, yeah, that's what Australia actually struggles at the most is hard rock. Convenient in that banning that out kind of hinders the other thing quite as well. Yeah, but Mexico also has double time. Like that's what was happening against uh, Mexico versus the Netherlands. The Netherlands kept picking Nomad, and then Mexico would keep countering with either Hard Rock or Double Time, and it worked. Wow! Every single player is only hidden hitter. Oh, this should be good. 
this is not hidden double type pool. This is just coincidence. Ooh, that was a huge accuracy drop by Axel over there in the slider. Oh yeah, that was a big one. He should be fine, though, I think. I think he missed yeah, as uh, long three as he droplets. Can... Four? Yeah, I think it was four. That could be up to about a thousand or so points from that alone. Yeah, that sounds about right, but I don't think everyone will full combo this this song, so we have to wait and see. There we go. Oh, Gear HD being the first one dropping over there. So giving a little bit of a lead for Singapore right now. Just as one mentions I didn't think everyone's gonna full combo this a drop. Well <laughs> Indirect cursing. Yeah, but Inu and Ridicule are still holding the 100% here. Same for he and Eric and Geralt though. Axel now finally finding a miss for the Singapore side. Giving once again combat advantage to the Japanese team, which are trying to climb back that lead. Surely they should be able to take it back if they keep all, all the combos here. Ridicule already dropping the 100% here, but still holding the combo, which is the most important thing. And just hitting the break, they still have... 60,000... 60,000... No, well, 60,000! Two, two combos versus two combos, so... And we're getting to the hardest part right now. Yeah, but as time progresses, Japan will still cutting that lead back down. And Eno missing with Gerald at the same time, and Oxel as well right now. And Japan is taking back the lead once again, and really short one, but still good enough. Ririku managed to keep the combo until the end. Bringing Japan into another break point, 2 1 in the favor now. And that was See, pretty like I close. Said, I'll take one miss. Although that was kind of two misses, but <laughs> it was one of the FCs dropping, which turned the tide. That was actually a little bit closer than most of the people thought, I believe, because if Gerald was able to keep the combo on that long jump at the end, that would probably end up being a victory for Singapore, so... It would have been. Yeah, so just quick update. Uh, Canada versus Malaysia. Canada wins 4-0. So that'll be them advancing to the round of 16. Nice. Very much so, yeah. Yeah, only match remaining in Group uh, G is going to be Malaysia against Hungary. And both of those are already eliminated of the tournament, so it will be more like a relaxing, fun match. Concerto is going to be the pick here for Japan. And once again, I still think that it's risky, but hey. This is harder than the other hidden picks that have been selected so far, but... The thing about this map is that... Both teams are actually playing the same thing that they lost before, so... I do believe though that Japan has better chances to win this one than the previous one selection, Seven Girl. Well, I would have to say overall they're probably stronger with Hit. Yeah, but we have to see if the Japanese team is able to keep up with the streams and Hit and Combine, because I'm not sure that we saw Japan playing this one against Chile.
Okay, so it hoofed it. On Sodo. Oh wow! That would be Japan. Oh my god! Mexico just got three double S's in a Geisha stream. Holy god! Has started with a, a little bit of a break over there with the miss in the first half of the first half of the first 30 combos. And now Rurikun is finding a miss over there, so right now it's looking Really good for Singapore in the beginning. Uh, I should quickly mention that it's actually 3 1 for Mexico over in Mexico versus Australia again. Yes, over here, it doesn't like Singapore is making a good comeback, but Excel missing as well as Gira HD, so that will even it out a little bit, making. Not much of a change there, so Singapore should keep the lead, but it looks like Excel is actually gonna miss you. I think he doesn't get into trouble here. Yeah, he's suddenly struggling really hard on this section. Yeah, but hopefully for them, if the other Singapore players are holding really strong, and that is making a 200,000 points difference here. But Axel needs to watch out that he doesn't have to fail, because otherwise, that means that Singapore will lose this point. Ooh, oh, that was a heavy okay. break. I think Japan's lost this one. That is surprising. Yeah, Rurikun as well. Holy god, that was a huge break for every single Japanese player. And double full combo for Singapore, really good. That was a really convincing and decisive win by Singapore in the hidden bracket. So let's see what they decide to go for. Maybe they go for double time once again, and that means sexy love. We're going to see some sexy love, but... um. Meanwhile, over in the Australian-Mexico match, we are going to be seeing some Sorario days. So, right now, what should Singapore go for? I believe they will go once again for double time. Like, every single pick so far has been pretty close. Probably Boy. this one that was more one-sided was this one, Piano Concerto. And I don't I think guess. going for a hidden... I mean, they don't have any hidden remaining anyway, so... I was gonna say, if they go for double time, they have to go for 6 love. And it looks like Mexico wins 4-1. That will qualify Mexico into the round of 16, so congratulations to them. They will face Argentina in the uh, round of 16, I believe. Which means that uh, the US will be facing... Uh... Doesn't Netherlands still have another match, though? Yeah, but yeah, they lost twice. The ne didn't Netherlands beat Mexico? No. No, Mexico beat them. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wait. Yep, they did beat it. 4-3 in tiebreaker. Double S from yeah. Ponchiwi. So, Canada will be facing the US and Mexico will be facing Argentina in round 16. If, I, if I'm correct, I, I think I am.
So let's see what Singapore decides to go for right here. Sexy Love is looking like a good chance overall. But I wouldn't be too surprised if they go for a normal style, something like uh, Anadonia or have a nice music. But it can really go anyway right now. Anywhere. And it's going to be Anadonia at the end. Alright. I was right! So, ready to swap into the normal bracket. First time we see these two teams playing Nomad between each other. So far, it was only double time and hidden. This might be the worst decision in my life yet. Well, you never know. You should be the one that knows your team's able to do. But we will see Rulu here replacing, I believe it was Riddy Cat. And for Kiru HD, he's also being replaced. I mean, from... if, if there's a hidden pick left, I would. No, there is not. Nice. Wait, both of the other hidden picks remain? Yep, Singapore did ban both of the hidden picks remaining. Huh. Winter Campaign on Osaka and Yorokobi Synchronicity. Winter campaign to get banned, honestly. I saw a lot of people struggling with that one, though. I, although I see, I think it's one of the easier ones. And that's going to be Molkus and Rulu replacing Giro HD and Ridiku. Yeah, I would say Winter campaign is the easiest hidden pick. Probably it is, but I saw a lot of people struggling with it, so. Well, there's opportunities to choke all of the maps. Which is pretty fun if the Singapore wins this one. They will be 2 1. Uh, no, 2 1, 2 0, and they will be leading the group right now. So, I mean, in terms of scoring, not in this match. If they win this match, they will have a win against Italy and a win against Japan, which means that they will lead the group. At least temporarily. Well, we have to wait and see right here. Nomads looking like it's going to be a close battle. At the moment it is triple full combo for each side. Although they're everyone holding the exact same accuracy, which is a hundred percent. Who's going to be the first break here? Everyone is holding really strong. Axel finding the first Accuracy drop will keep the lead a little bit to Japan's side and entering into the easier section before the last chorus, last Kiai section. Scores and flashing back and forth, but the lead is on Japan's side because of the accuracy advantage. I'm making this look so easy. Yeah, they're definitely doing it. Like, this was the closer map to be decided by spinners, so we might see that at the end. I mean, I also have to say this is probably one of the easiest Nomad picks. Yeah, definitely is. But still, it's impressive to see everyone full combo so far, but Axel! No. Axel being the guy dropping the ball over there! See, that's why I didn't want to mention anything, and then Juan had to do it and ruined it. Blame Juan. <laughs> well, we still have a bit of a stream here, but I don't think anyone is going to break here. At the no, end... No, but you ruined the dream of the spinner battle. <laughs> well, well. Are you going to come out top of the, if it didn't come to a spin medal? Well, we I can check that out now. Well, I think like Japan's going to take the Rulu... win anyway, then. Like, Rulu is a spin god. Well, at the end, he and Erika and Gerald got the exact same spinner that Nora Cat, but they had 100% from he and Erika, so that means that Gerald spin better than Nora Arcade, but overall Rulu and Molkus did better when it comes to spinning. I do believe that Japan will be able to take it in a spinner battle. So now 3-2 things are in favor of Japan and they have to pick, so picking for the win. Pick sexy love. 
Sexy Love makes sense though, because they won already the tall of all time picks. I will go for something like uh, another no mod, maybe. I would say Hard Rock, but I don't think Japan is strong enough in Hard Rock to risk that. Probably, if you want to risk something, you have to go for Sexy Love instead. Something like uh, like a Fifani might work because it's a pretty hard no mod. I don't know why Loctav is talking about there's no more hidden maps anymore because Singapore won twice in a hidden pool in the hidden pool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but those are banged out hidden, sir. Yeah, you win two hidden maps and you win the other two. That's how it works. So right now, right now Singapore's only chance is to take down Japan in a tiebreaker scene. And Japan already played a tiebreaker before, so they definitely have a good advantage here. But they are picking now, so they have the potential to actually win this one before actually giving a chance to play a tiebreaker. Although the pick is still missing, we're still not sure about what they're going for. We can uh, just make guesses. Team, sorry, Team Singer forged an 8 ban. Japan should have done, to be fair. <laughs> Whoa, maybe Greletto will be the pick right now. They're at least discussing a little bit about it. A Grillotto is interesting because it doesn't have a spinner. Oh, that can be a tie. It can be, but it probably won't be. I don't know. That's probably one of the easier ones as well in normal. Uh, I would have to disagree, sir. I don't know. I played that and I almost will combo it in the first try, so I didn't it's find it that hard. Not hard to FC it, but it's hard to do it consistently. Like, in my opinion, the easier one is have a nice music, then Anadonia, and then Grilletto. Probably the next one should be Sorario Days. I'd have to say my map is the easiest. <laughs> well, it's your map, so it makes sense. <laughs> Everybody has sees it, though. <laughs> well, not everybody, but most people are seeing it. Okay, so it's, it's only got one man. card section. This music also suits pretty well the situation, like it's pretty epic. That's how you pick them. Which song sounds the most epic? That one? We'll pick that one. Alright, we're ready to start, which can be potentially the last pick of the match. Decided by Japan, it's going to be Grilletto. Surprise triple time. Yeah. I challenged someone to sing that fast. It sounded pretty scary, honestly. It definitely did, yeah. Wow. Everything does. Yeah, I'll have to die on. Triple time. Oh, huh, yeah, that's true. Hello, Sam. I bet he's in the chat now. He's like, I heard triple time. <laughs> he suddenly he wakes screaming. up off his bed and it's like, oh, someone say triple time. Like, I can just see him like sniping up, like, oh, there's triple time <laughs> somewhere. Yeah, definitely. But now. There's no more triple time right now, we're having a normal map and so far so good, everyone is holding full combo. He and Eric are the only one who had trial accuracy so far. And since we don't have spinners, accuracy here is an important deal if everyone keeps a combo. That will be the main difference. All is just holding him. Every single player in Japan is actually holding a really strong double S. Miss from Gerald, and that is the first thing that you don't want to see if you're from Singapore. 
because that means that Japan has a huge advantage, not only accuracy-wise, but also combo-wise. They need to break twice in order to keep an advantage to Singapore. And now he and Eric and Giral missing once again. Giral finding twice in a row misses, and Axel being the only one remaining in the Singaporean team. And this is not looking great for them. Axel now dropping, and no full combos remaining, and Japan is just destroying it. Rulu dropping a bit of accuracy, but surprising to see him of all combo. people drop accuracy. Yeah, that's true. Really close matchup at the end. Rulu would have missed in the last two notes, but not going to matter yeah, too that's much. Not gonna hurt them at all. All right, so that is going to be four two to Japan. So that will qualify them for the next round, I believe. Uh, Actually, not, um, no, not not really. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not sure. I'm not sure though, because but doesn't that progress? Singapore, Japan Singapore, so they already beat Chile. Yeah, yeah but Singapore is one-one. Japan is two-zero. So we still have the losi there. Okay, like well, the Japan looking really, 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 really good to qualify. Oh no, no, there's only one match remaining. On, uh, on, on. it's Italy against Japan and Chile against Singapore. So. Well, after Singapore. Japan beat the top seed of the group. <laughs> well, yeah, but they had... They was close to lose against Singapore. Singapore did put out a great fight over here. I mean, for sure, Japan is probably the likely the one that's going to qualify, but... You have to watch out, and also Chile needs to watch out a lot, because if they lost against Singapore, they are out of the tournament. Yeah, I think uh, Japan is already qualified. There's no chance that for them to not qualify. Unless yeah, Italy I'm, I'm pretty sure they've gone through. Didn't even need to win the three. Yeah, didn't really. Didn't even need to win the match. They are already qualified. That's true. You know, I think we'll be. Yeah, I think we should probably go into a break because I imagine all of us are quite tired here. Yes, they. Um, <laughs> so that was the end of Japan versus Singapore. Um. We will be back at 9 8 in UTC, which is uh, a few hours away. I don't know exactly how many because my brain is not working. We will be back with New Zealand vs. Russian Federation and Hungary vs. Malaysia. So we've got some pretty good matches coming up. And from there, we will have a set of four matches in the world from looks of it. So, should be good fun. Should be good fun. Alright, yes, it's on the stream. So we will be back in five hours for New Zealand vs. Russian Federation. We will see you there. Take care and have a good break.